Tonight, a family in several communities are mourning the death of 10-year-old Mason Fox. He died on Sunday after a months-long battle with leukemia. He was well known in the Tampa Bay area, especially in youth hockey and the Hillsborough County Fire and Rescue, where his dad works. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Hurst spoke to his parents as they remember their son. Monday night, an impromptu candlelight vigil happened outside the Fox's home near Land O'Lakes. Neighbors tonight come in from blocks around, you know, just showing their support for us. Uh, it's yesterday was the worst day of our lives. <laughs> Inside, Mason's parents, Leslie and Michael, speak through tears about their 10 year old son, the oldest of four boys. He's the sweetest person I've ever met. He's so passionate, so full of empathy to others. Mason loved hockey and excelled on the ice. The Tampa Bay Lightning honored him with the ceremonial puck drop at their Hockey Beats Cancer Night in November. He was a great athlete, very empathetic towards the other players. Uh, he told me once that his favorite thing to do wasn't scoring goals, but to pass the puck. He loved getting assists. Diagnosed with leukemia in April last year, he was responding well to treatment, but infections in the last few weeks were too much for his weakened immune system. Right before they intubated, his last words to me were, don't cry, mommy. Less than 48 hours since his passing, his mother says it's his blue eyes and infectious smile that brings the greatest joy and sadness. All throughout treatment, he always was smiling, no matter what. Anytime I took a picture in the hospital during anything, he always smiled. Like it was always hashtag Fox Strong and hashtag Smile Like Mason because he always smiled. Before he died, Mason desired to create a foundation to help other children battling cancer, a foundation his parents say they'll create in his honor. In Land O'Lakes, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. We thank you for telling us so much more about this special little boy. A wake is being held for Mason at Trinity Memorial Gardens this Sunday at 5.30. His funeral is public. It's on Monday at 11 at St. Timothy's Catholic Church in Lutz.